So one thing that a lot of people like to learn to do when using Photoshop, when just learning how to use Photoshop is to, you know, swap heads. Like you want to have a cat's head on a human or just like muscular person with the, put your face on the muscular person in Photoshop. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to show you how to do that real quick here. So I got these two pictures, which is just this one guy sitting and then I have a picture of a cat. I noticed that the picture of the cat has a, it's just a cat in a pretty flat background. So it's, uh, the way I'm going to show you, this works better if you have uh, the subject. It's against a pretty neutral background with not, not stuff going on. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So first, you know, use the uh, control open, which is file open and open your uh, both pictures. So we have this cat and I have the guy here. I'm going to drag this picture into my uh, into this one. So to do that, I'm going to press a V or just click here. Do you move tool and then just uh, hold down left mouse click and just drag it in here. And I'm going to hold down shift and let go of the mouse. And there we have it. We have our cat here. So now what I want to do is I want to separate the cat from the background. So let me hide this guy first. And now we're just working with the cat. Uh, one thing that I like to do is just work uh, with the uh, grayscale images. So what I'll do is I'm going to duplicate this layer. So use Control J to duplicate it and then hide this guy. And with this guy selected, what I'm going to do is press, what I'm going to do is press Control Shift U and that's going to turn that image into a grayscale. Make sure you keep the original one down there. Uh, so with this one selected, what I'll do is I'm going to uh, press Control L and that's going to open my levels. So I want to separate the uh, background from the foreground. To do that, what I'll do is just play with the levels here. Increase the blacks just a little bit. So I think that should be good. Click OK. And now I'm going to go to Select and Color Range. And I'm going to click on Black because there's more black in this image. So click OK. And now this is selecting everything that has black in it and click here to create a mask. One thing I'm going to do is just going to add a background layer so that we can see better. So create, click on this and now press Alt Backspace. That's going to fill with your, with your uh, foreground color. In this case, I'm going to do Control Backspace so that it fills with my background color. And those colors are set here. So as we can see now, our cat, actually I should change that color to something different. Let's do red. Okay, so with red we can see now. So what's red is uh, transparent right now, so it's not showing in the image, but we want to fix that. So what I'll do here, so I'm going to click on my mask and I'm going to paint the image back in. So to do that, press B. To use the uh, pen, uh, pencil brush here, and let's use let's just that. Increase the size. You can increase that here, your size, or hold down Alt and uh, right mouse click and drag, and then you can start painting that in so that we have uh, the cats back in here. Okay, so now we have the cat and I want to get rid of the, uh, the stuff up here. So I'm going to press X and then paint that away. Okay, so now double click on the mask one more time and it's just the feather just a little bit. just to soften the edges here and close that. So now we're ready to just place this guy on top of the guy. So let's delete this guy, just drag it and drop it. Enable the uh, color one. 
and now hold down control and click on the mask and now while you have the original image selected click on create mask there we go we can, we can erase this guy now so throw that guy in the garbage now let's enable visibility for the original and now let's go ahead and place this guy so have it have the uh, layer selected press ctrl t and just move this guy into position uh, use this uh, to scale this guy down and if you hold down shift while you scale you can preserve the uh, the aspect ratio so let's move this guy in here maybe something like this and then press enter there we go so now we have to clean it up just a little bit more so this side looks pretty good for the most part I guess what we have to clean up is mostly this side so make sure you click on the mask and then paint that stuff away with the with the uh, pencil tool and this is this is really hard if you're using a mouse which I am but if you have like a tablet or something, oops, you can probably, this will probably be a lot easier for you. I'm just going to try to clean this guy up. One thing we can do here, since like this is really black, uh, we can click uh, on this guy, the magic one, and then select that. And then hold down shift and click on that. And now let's make sure that you, you have black and white set here and then use alt backspace and that's going to you know, paint the mask in those areas you can do the same with this piece and I got a little messed up there but we can fix that if we go back to B and paint use the paint tool So it always requires just a little bit more of finessing here, just getting it, just cleaning it up usually takes just a little bit longer. You can also switch your brush, so if you click here you can switch to, you now there's a few that Photoshop comes with. That you can use like this one maybe uh, so use one that's kind of like fur maybe noisy maybe something like that you know So that it kind of fits in with what we're doing here. Oops. And yeah, with the whiskers, it's going to be more difficult to get this done. Okay, so there we go. I think that looks pretty. I think that looks good. You can clean it up a little bit more, you know, spend more time with it. I'm just, just so that I don't stall too much in the tutorial. So, we probably want to get rid of his, uh, his hat back there. And one way we can do that is just, just, um, oops, going to duplicate that layer. So press Control J and Control T and then just move that guy into place. Maybe something like that. Now press enter. Now add a mask to it. And I'm going to use Alt Backspace. I use the B key. And I'm going to switch my paint to a more basic shape. And paint with white. So you can paint that in there. You know, the background is kind of blurry anyway, so I don't think you can... I don't 
think it matters too much. You know, that's not looking that great. Let's do it a different way. Let's delete that guy. Make a new layer. I'm going to hide my cat. And I'm going to use the clone tool. So that's here. Clone. Basically, you fall down Alt. And let me change my brush to this. So hold down the Alt key so you can so you can uh, choose the area that you want to sample. So I'm going to click on that. And now you can kind of paint that in. Probably want to sample that area again. Let's see the name of my cat to see what it's looking like. Let's sample this area maybe. Okay, I think that looks a little bit better. Oh, make sure that when you create that new layer, make sure that sample is set to all layer. Or in this case, you probably want current and below. So let's sample just a little bit more here. This is that it looks more like some silhouetting going on down there. I think that kind of works. Yeah, I think that looks better. It's more blurry. Good. So now, you know, for these two pictures that I picked, you know, the color range is really close for both. So it kind of almost looks like they already blend in really well. So I don't have to do too much color correction. As you can see, both have like really warm colors to them and the uh, the values like the darks are really close. So the darks on this guy and darks on the cat, and you know, they're really close uh, in range. But in case yours didn't have that, in case you picked a picture that, you know, the values were really off or the colors were really off, uh, what I would do with, in that situation is use the levels. So click on levels and uh, hold down all the alt key and click in between levels and the layer that you want the levels to affect and once that's done in the levels you can change um, kind of the brightness of the darks and the whites so you can change the values of these guys so who knows maybe this guy needs to be just a little bit brighter like Something like that, maybe. And then maybe if your colors were off too, you can do the same thing, but this time use the curves. Uh, hold on Alt in between curves and levels. And now the curves is only affecting this guy. And under curves, you can choose like red. Maybe you want more red in the, your picture. Just, think, just so that you can match to whatever your background image is. In my case, you know, it was already kind of matching it. And you can switch to greens and then just kind of like, you know, make it more so that it matches uh, the back, the uh, colors of the entire image so that it looks like, you know, it's one image as opposed to like, you know, like something that looks terribly photoshopped. Okay, I think the cat values are a little too dark. There we go. And now maybe you just want to like do a final uh, color correction on the entire thing. So you can just go to curves and then... And that one you just have it... Uh, apply it on the entire thing so you don't have to do anything once you make it. And now you know make it you maybe you will want to make it more cinematic Let's 
so it looks something more up like this so I think I think that's working pretty well you know you could use the same techniques to like I don't know maybe we want to have all the people in the background to be cats too you know so if we wanted to do something like that you can just duplicate the cat so control J and the one at the bottom uh, press the V key then just move that guy uh, I'm gonna right click uh, I'm gonna press control T and then right click and flip this guy horizontal and let's kill that guy down now maybe that guy in the background is also a cat of sorts press enter and you know here you can totally see that the values are totally off so for that guy what I'll do is do a levels and do the uh, hold on alt between that layer and the new one and here just set it like that and then maybe I'll gonna, I'm gonna i going to blur this guy too so let's go to filters uh, blur gush and blur you know just blur it so that it oops it's way too much maybe something like that press ok we might want to fix the uh, mask on this guy or maybe we want to do something more like this I don't know I think that that looks a little more silly more crazy you know than what than how it looks like obviously you'll probably use a different cat so that it doesn't look like you're using the same freaking cat for all the people so you could just get a bunch of pictures of cats maybe you get some paws and put those here you know I was just showing an example for that one but you can do better than I did here but anyway yeah I think so that pretty much concludes also something that I didn't do here is make sure you name the layers and so to make it easier for you I didn't do that of course I missed I messed that up but anyway yeah that's pretty much how you can do like swapping a head to a body and you know just have fun doing that I think usually when people are learning Photoshop that's one of the first things that they want to learn how to do so anyway if you like this tutorial leave a like comment below and subscribe